Okay, so this is going to be all signed singles. Um, so the message was what you're seeking, um, what you're seeking in love is also seeking you, right? Okay, so that was a message for somebody. Okay, now let's see what's coming. Okay, because spring has sprung. <laughs> let's see what's popping. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's see. All signed singles. Okay. So Aries. What's coming? What's on the way? the Hierophant. Okay, for some of you, this is spiritual awakening. Uh, for some of you, this is um, self-love and moving on a spiritual path. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, so for some of you, you walked away from the idea of of uh, offering love to another. Okay. Prince of Cuts Reverse and Six of Swords. Okay. Okay, so with this energy, I'm picking up. Uh, so for uh, an air sign water, so I'm picking up Libra with a Scorpio rising. Okay, so that could also interpret into someone who is needing to balance or retreat or um, kind of come up with a clear idea here, how she's holding the sword here. Clear and positive idea, okay, towards whatever it is that you're working on. Okay, so... So this is a Libra... Okay, so this is a someone who is in... A leadership role who is a Libra Scorpio rising uh, that is moving into a new cycle. And uh, that walking away from love also affected not just your surrounding, but uh, the whole collective. Okay. All right. That person is in, uh, well, let's just keep it general. Okay. All right. So nine of cups and queen of cups. Okay. So I feel like in your singleness, okay, um, there's still a desire there to come together with someone. Okay. So what this is telling me is to be abundant in your own energy, right? And then um, yeah, love is coming. That's the message. You see how he's in his own planet. La di da, eating grapes and what is that? Dionysus energy. Okay, so it's like in that kind of energy. But then look, there's someone watching, right? Okay, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, for someone that's someone with red hair, older and glasses. Okay, all right. So they love you, and uh, I don't think that they think that they have a chance with you. So they're kind of just sitting in the sidelines. Okay. There's deep love there, right? Okay. But, uh, they, that person has heard you talk about, um, aging in a negative way or something like that. So, uh, that's why that person is uh, staying in the sidelines. Okay. Interesting. All right, so here's Ten of Cups. Okay, so the message here is for those Aries people who are kind of uh, worried about um, whether to continue in your singleness or ha having a being in a partnership. Okay, 
The key is to balance your emotions, right? Because this could be you too. Uh, the key is to balance your emotions through it all. And whether you're with a partner or not, that is the key practice here that's coming up. Is to practice that daily, right? And, um, or just be in the flow. Okay. And uh, when contrast comes, it's like learn how to move it, right? Okay, and do that every day, and then uh, you can ha have this. Well, no, this is guaranteed. Whether you're single or with a partner, this, this is guaranteed, okay? So uh, you don't have to worry, move out of worry into, uh, worry is a waste of life, right? So it's like move into a creative space. If you're in worry, move that energy into positivity through creating in your mind the new. All right, now we're on Taurus. Okay, steadying those emotions, okay. Okay, so for this is for someone. Okay, so you're, you've been waiting on a Libra. Man, Libra's coming up a lot. Okay, you've been waiting on a Libra. It's like you were put on the back burner. You might want to go see the collective reading then. Okay, so you were kind of put on the back burner with everything that was going on. And, um, but there was, for some of you, this was, uh, entanglement with manyness. Okay. In partnerships. Okay. So, uh, there's like that balancing of emotions, right? Okay. So, mm -hmm. okay. So it's like. Learning how to temper that kind of passive aggressive energy is what I'm picking up now. Okay, so if that's a thing, okay. It's like mixing that fire and water is showing up here, right? Bringing that heaven mind into this physical reality. Okay. So healing, right? Healing, if, if you're going through that, it's on the way. Okay, so we have to kind of get to this point before we can start offering love, right? All right, so what does that mean? It's like do the alchemical work on a DNA level and body, mind, and spirit. And then in that way, you can move forward in love. Okay, and then here is learning how to temper the emotions. Okay, okay, so there might be cusping energy, Aries. Uh, okay, and then uh, Ten of Cups. Okay, so, whoo! Okay, so hold on a second. Wow, this can be as soon as now. Okay, so receive it, right? Okay, so this, for some of you, you've already done the work. So you're already in this place, ready to receive this. Okay, Ten of Cups. Wow. There's another, there's three children in here. Okay, Queen of Swords. Okay, so what I'm getting is, yeah, it's like uh, move in clarity and release the sword, right? And uh, release the sword into the water and flow. And here is a spin wheel. Ooh, it's like spinning the new through your imagination, right? She's closing her eyes. Ooh, that kind of reminds me of those... Mm, okay, so in India, they have these people, uh, like tribesmen, I don't know, I forgot what their name was, but um, 
I'm not quite putting my finger on on the Sanskrit. <laughs> <laughs> I need to learn that more. Okay. All right. So, but basically what the message here is, is that, um, okay. There's so much it just in this card. Okay. All right. So spin a new reality, right? Instead of looking in the news all the time, spin a new reality through creation, your imagination. Okay. Now, See how there's like spider webs and then there's sparks in here, right? That's the matrix, spinning the new. And then spinning a new fabric of the universe and adding to the your component, your component. One component to the all, right? Makes a difference. Okay. Now back to the tribe thing from those people from India is they don't believe in disease and they don't believe in, they, they're kind of, um, I would say natural men, but they don't believe in all these things of the mind like disease. Okay, so, and I won't go into what they <laughs> do, but um, at any rate, okay, there's that. And also, this is like, look at this lady looks really old, right? Okay. So it's like, and even maybe colonial, right? It's like learning, connecting with the ancestors, but then moving into a new framework, not repeating the same uh, story over and over from generation to generation to in um, years and years and years, right? Okay, so we're trying to, it's like, Pull in the golden nuggets from the past through connecting with the ancestors, but don't repeat the same pattern that had us in, in uh, had us in the unwanted. Okay. Also, here's the keys, right? So that's like the keys to the universe through connecting to spirit. Okay, and that's where you get clarity. Okay, and... Ooh. It's like Earth spinning on its axis. Axis. Okay, in a positive way. Okay, so I'm also getting on a DNA level, right? The gut health, I feel like, is very important here. It's like connected to the parasympathetic nervous system, right? See, these can also be the nerve endings, the nerve, the synapse of the uh, brain and the nerves in the body, right? So um, if we take care of that that can also play out in a more positive way, right? Because if you're having problems with your nervous system and being nervous all the time, that can affect the gut and then affect how you think and how that gets projected into not just your surroundings, but into the whole picture. All right. All right, now we're going off on this thing, but uh, okay, so now, um, so anyway, what is the message here for the people who are here for a love story? Okay. Oh, wow. These were left out. Okay, so they're meant to be included in part of it for the cusping energies. Okay. This is, this is already here for you. The Ten of Pentacles, the abundance, right? And it's all about moving your emotional scale and flowing with the abundance, right? Okay, so... Um, the vortex is within you, and you have access to that through uh, meditation, going within, okay, leaning in the positive, neutral to positive, okay. Now, okay, for some of you, I see you're going to meet someone in... Um, some kind of gathering for some of you. It's like, what's that? 
I'm picking up Las Vegas. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's a Las Vegas wedding or if like that's just wedding and that's how they're showing it to me. Okay, Elvis is in the building. <laughs> Something like that. What does that mean? Okay, all right, so I'll just leave that. Okay, and um, okay, so another thing is when you take your kids out to play some playful gathering with other people you're going to meet a connection that way that came up long time ago before too okay so there's that and um okay so something that seems like a mammoth thing to do or experience or to receive you can receive it for some of you that's a lottery someone's going to win the lottery here okay all right or win some sort of um money thing all right okay so um but a good way also to invest is not just playing those games but um like every day kind of work towards something right that uh, could manifest in a big way right okay so nothing is uh everything is possible in this physical reality okay all right so yeah, that's the next card. Woo! Okay. So that's beautiful, isn't it? See, that's like the vortex flowing, and it's like, ching, 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 ching. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's that could be Las Vegas for somebody. Okay, so on the shadow side of that, they're showing me over here, shadow side of that is uh, you, moderation is a key to everything, I feel like here. That's the key. And uh, use your wisdom in any kind of thing, right? Okay. And here's a bunch of lily pads and lotus. Okay, I'm gonna. Ha I wasn't planning on going that long. Okay, so I'm gonna have to uh, stop that. So this is just Aries and Taurus on this video. Thank you. <laughs>